Hello everyone. I am Dr. Gitanjali Kalia, Associate Professor, School of Mass Communication, Chitkara University, Punjab, and this is my first lecture series in Introduction to New Media. The topics to be covered during the lecture are New Media Landscape, Introduction to New Media, Why it is called New Media, New Media versus Traditional Media, Characteristics of New Media, and Advantages of New Media. So let's start off with the new media landscape. Under this, we'll be studying the new media landscape under two parameters. First is the current market scenario, and the other one is the Digital India, an initiative taken by Indian government. According to McKenzie report of March 2019, the following conclusions were drawn. In September 2018, India had 560 million internet subscribers, only second to China. Indians downloaded 12.3 billion applications in 2018 than any other country except China. An Indian spends an average of 17 hours per week on social media. The share of Indian adults with at least one digital financial account has doubled to almost 80% since 2011. And let's discuss about the Digital India, an initiative taken by the Indian government. Our country Digital Adoption Index covers three elements. Digital Foundation, that covers the cost, speed and reliability of the internet service. Digital Reach, the number of the mobile devices, application downloads and data consumption. And the last is the Digital Value, that means how much consumers engage themselves online by chatting, tweeting, shopping or online streaming. So let's have a quick look at the what the government initiative is about Digital India. When I say Digital India, I don't have to say that this is not for the poor people. This is for the poor people. Now, India will be digital. Now, every village will connect with the internet. Now, the government will be done online. And what has resulted all this growth is new media. Now, let us understand what is new media. According to W. Russell Newman, one of the renowned professors of media technology, we are witnessing the evolution of a universal interconnected network of audio, video and electronic text communications that will blur the distinction between the interpersonal and mass communication and between the public and the private communication. According to New Media Institute, new media is a 21st century catch-all term that is used to define the interplay between the images, sound and technology. So let us understand why it is called a new media. Firstly, it has made the following changes into the way the media is produced, the way it is distributed and finally the way media is consumed by the masses. And the second is the integration of all the mediums and which is still evolving. Some of the examples of the new media are social media, digital marketing, podcasting and websites. So here is a small activity for you to understand the concept better. List down at least 10 examples of new media that suits the above studied formats. The first point of difference between a new media and a traditional media is content. In traditional media, the control used to be in the hands of a few people, whereas in new media, anyone can produce and deliver the content to the public. Media convergence. Traditional media used to operate independently like print media, television, radio, etc. Whereas in new media, all the mediums have merged and converged to develop the internet radio, internet videos, online newspapers, etc. Participative audience. 
Traditional mediums used to be passive, that is, one way of the information used to follow. Whereas, in new media, people are participative and have a strong opinions and platforms to share their opinions and views. The fourth point is, the people are digitally connected. In traditional media, people used to wait for a long to get the information served to them especially in case of a newspapers, whereas in new media, people are 24-7 digitally connected and any information is shared within a fraction of seconds. Use of internet to upload and download the data. Earlier, due to the limited technology, the data was transferred in a restricted amount that used to take a lot of time, whereas the internet has revolutionized the way the data is transferred from a sender to a receiver. Now, a huge bulk of data can be transferred in a single go. So let us discuss the characteristics of new media. It is digital, interactive, hypertextual, networked and virtual. Interactive. New media is known for its ability to involve the audience. This is known as interactivity where people involve themselves and participate in the running campaigns or promotions. For example, when people respond to ministers on the Twitter accounts regarding the policies and the programs implemented by the government. Digital. We refer new media being digital because the media data is saved, stored and processed in the form of a binary digits that is 0 and 1 thus making it faster to encode, transfer and decode the data. For example, when we download, transfer and share huge amount of data in form of video, images and audio file, it is done in a fraction of seconds. Another characteristic is hypertextual. It means non-sequential connections between all kinds of data facilitated by the computer which means that any random file can be accessed and opened based on the required information. For example, suppose while reading an article on Article 370, you would like to research on what is Article 370 and the hyperlink when connected would directly take you to the page of its explanation. Networked Being connected through internet and with the click of the mouse the whole world comes before the person. That means that public doesn't have to wait for a long for seeking the information. For example, new media is not bound by the geographical boundaries. With the help of the internet and while sitting in India, we can seek the information about the every corner of the world. Virtual. Online platforms with their multimedia facilities have a greater advantage over traditional media. This characteristic helps new media to create a virtual world that engages the audience in an environment created through animated graphics and digital videos, for example, virtual games and mobile games, etc. So after discussing the characteristics, let us discuss the advantages of new media. The advantages of new media are universality, content, instant feedback, accessibility and hyperlinks. The very first advantage of a new media is its universal approach. It is not limited by time and space. New media is a platform that has converted the world into a global village. News about every incident happened anywhere is reachable to any other extent within a few minutes. For example, Alec Baldwin, a very renowned actor, fell for a Statue of Liberty scam where the two doesn't actually take passengers to the statue. Baldwin shared a photo of his ticket on Instagram that shows he paid $40 for each of his family members, whereas the licensed Statue of Liberty operator charges only $18.50 per ticket. Multimedia content Content production and its consumption has changed drastically with the upsurging of a new media, the way masses expose themselves 
to the content has gone very selective and creative with the ease of videos, infographics and podcasting. So here is an example of a multimedia videos and the infographics that are created and used on the social platforms. Accessibility. Internet has made it possible for us to access any type of information anywhere and anytime, be that audio or video. Whether we are traveling, shopping, reading, etc., we can access anything being 24 7 connected with the internet. So, one of the examples is geo targeting that makes us connected and we get advertisements whenever we are traveling to a nearby areas. Instant feedback. Feedback mode is very instant in new media where the acceptance or the rejection of the data, news, product, etc. is very instant and immediate in form of live comments or reviews. So here is an example showing the way we comment on Facebook and the way the analytics are received by the marketers. Hypertext. Hypertext is just like online archives for the reference with the bulk of the data available on internet, referring and attaining the information about a particular word, event or an incident has become very easy. Whenever we use hyperlinks in the blog for a further read, whenever we are writing an article, we put up certain hyperlinks into the text where by clicking onto those hyperlinks, we can actually go into the detail of the information. So here is an assignment for you. Based on the above topics, track down your usage and awareness about new media in the following way. Make a table with the following headings. Use of new media with context to news, videos and images watched by you per day. Time spent on new media, that is, the number of the hours used per day. And the third category is the type of the content you watch. Thank you.